and can you believe that this is still that wash and go turn into twist turn into twist banding from using hair grease and my hair still feels moisturized five days after okay five days after right my hair still feels moisturized look at it and I don't even, I don't even feel like washing it I really don't feel like washing it but for you guys let me go turn let me let me let me give you some action let me give you let me give you some action so turning around this is what it looks like can you imagine your first time you know just subscribe because we're gonna be having so much fun in 2020 and February is coming along February is nearly here February is nearly here so today I am doing my review of this product that I've been using for a while um, my daughters especially we've been using the defining cream right over here and this is the Cantu texture even though it says TXTR it says texture and this is their hair mask so I have hair okay okay get this so Christmas time everybody was doing uh, sales and all that stuff I went to my local CVS and at my local CVS they had this for $1.65 or something thereof this is the texture by Cantu so if you guys like Cantu products or if Cantu products have not been watch, working for you this hair worked better for me than the original Cantu so this is the texture by Cantu this is their apple cider vinegar tea tree soothing shampoo this reminds me of you know what does it remind me of yeah that's what it reminds me of so but this is the texture by Cantu and it's the apple cider tea tree soothing shampoo it fights dryness and soothes itchiness my scalp isn't itchy or anything but I just want to try it out I've wet my hair first <laughs> and of course shrinkage has taken over and so I'm gonna put this on my scalp first and then put some to the length of my hair so with this one you can actually put to the length of your hair and it does feel really nice so yeah so it's not like lather lather but you see what it does it just glides through and it's kind of wet I should do this in the shower okay try not to get in your eyes it's not gonna give like mine is not giving for me for me and I broke another nail. Look at that. Now what is going on here? What is going on here? See? I broke another nail. What? Okay. lather lather so I put it all over my hair the back of my hair everything so there's no lather but you see this this is my grease cast over here to be fair to this product I did go in with my suave and clarify everything because I had grease in it and gel and a whole bunch of gunk so I did go in and clarify with that but um overall my scalp is tingling <laughs> my scalp feels very tingly and this is the one i use the swab on my hair but this other product i use it on my scalp and my scalp looks clean no sign of dandruff whatsoever yeah so if you're someone that you have dandruff this product or this um shampoo will work great for you we finished with the shampoo the next thing I'm going to use is the um, hair mask and this there this is a moisturizing hair mask uh, it's also they say strengthen and restore moisture mask you know what they said replenishes strands 
I've used this. I use this for uh, moisture, like moisture. It's actually about um, half gone. So I have half a bit gone because we've been, as I said, we've been using this for some time now and I absolutely love it. I love the smell. It smells really nice. It is infused and all this stuff, they don't have silicon and mineral oil and all that stuff. Oh, my scalp is tingling. It's tingling. Oh, I think I put too much. It's on fire. I feel like there's fire on my head. My head is on fire, fire, fire on the mountain. Oh, so anyway, um, it's contains shea butter, spray mint oil, again, okay. Um, soothes, ex um, baobab extract, watercress extract, and canola oil. Hmm. Okay, to minimize split ends. So I'm gonna take a heaping size of it, and I'm gonna apply it to my hair, not my scalp. So at this time, for all you dandruff prone people, we're not applying this to our scalp. Does it say you can apply it to your scalp? No, apply it to air only for extra one. You can put a plastic cap and uh, you can just keep on for 15 minutes. So with this one, you don't want to use for too long. Just 15 minutes is good enough. So just apply it to your hair and stuff. So and that's what we're going to do. You guys see how crazy my shrinkage is. My shrinkage is cray cray. So I'm just going to put it trap my hair like that just like that so I'm just gonna start using my detangling comb you guys have seen it I love this stuff I mean I mean I love it I love it you guys just see see how good it just detangles my hair see all done <laughs> that was easy so I'm just gonna detangle it real good all done and I can even go with the thinner section and can you imagine it can go through so it's only been about 12 minutes I finished detangling my hair and I have finally finally got the hang of this comb this comb likes to be used when there's a lot of products and this conditioner adds a lot of sleep so my hair feels so soft nice and soft feels really really soft and when you put conditioner put some on your edges also don't neglect your edges and put more on the ends of your hair I'm back and yeah that was a good experience oh my goodness it was such a good good experience and my hair still feels very very nice very very soft the texture by Cantu for coils and coils I have coils this is their defining cream so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it and I'm going to do chunky chunky twist big big twist okay so and i will also be layering it with i'm thinking the super wet i'm going to apply the cream first this is two pumps and that's how much i like using you see how runny it is it's running this is what i call when a cream is running <laughs> this cream is running look at where it's running to have you ever seen a cream that runs this much see it's very runny now this kind of cream is a cream that um, I'll use basically as like a leave-in and if I need more moisture if you find that it's not moisturizing and you're okay with using like a butter or pomade or grease did I just say that you can use it and that actually gives it a layer you know so I'm just going to my hair and put it to my root also of my hair and let me show you what I see I see do you guys see shine yeah I see shine and this is my clumpage you guys see this will make a very good wash and go but we're not doing wash and go today because I try not to do wash and go back to well <laughs> let me just shut up because <laughs> yeah so this is it you see how it comes my hair it gives a little bit of freeze so I know my wash and go if I do it with wash and go it will be good but yeah so let's just twist so let's just twist this baby up 
like that and we remember we're doing chunky twist and I'm doing loose chunky twist I'm not doing big tight chunky twist so very loose so you see my hand is traveling faster down so this is what a loose chunky twist looks like and I'm gonna call the ends like that okay so I finish applying it to my hair and so I have yeah eight Hi everyone so I am back to show you the result of my chunky twist using the Cantu texture okay so the second day after I used it I checked my hair my hair was still wet okay so the third day came around and it was still wet but only wet over here and this is the fourth day the fourth day everywhere is dry and I feel my hair it's still feeling a bit moisturized like when I squeeze it there's like a bounce back or something but I know by the end of this today actually it's gonna be so dry so I'm gonna take some of my oil and I'm using just plain almond oil to unravel my hair I normally don't do this but someone said I should start doing it so you know I'm listening to you guys I'm coating my fingers with it and I'm just putting it in my hair and this is what my hair looks like you can see it does appear a bit frizzy and that to me shows that it needs some form of hydration so when I take it down so I'm just gonna unravel one it unravels very well so the ends of it is not snagged together the ends of it unravels well and that to me is a good sign of hair that is still moisturized but will soon need to be re-moisturized so taking it down you can see how the coils or the coils or whatever you can see how it still looks really nice and juicy so what i normally do is i don't even know what this is what i normally do is i just unravel it each of it and then I go back in and I make it a bit bigger so just by unraveling a little bit of it you can see it looks really really nice it still looks really nice so let's go and let's unravel all my hair So this is my hair. I've always been a lover <laughs> of chunky twists because my hair is not, it, it might look as if I have a lot of fullness in my hair, but my hair really isn't that full. I have fine um, strands, so uh, but I have plenty of it. That's why sometimes it appears fuller, but I actually have a low to medium density, uh, more towards the medium than the low, of course. So what I'm doing now is I'm just fluffing my roots just to build up some form of, um, uh, what they call it, some form of volume to my hair. Okay, so I think that is it. So apart from that, I, what do you guys think? Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Is it a win-win or not so much of a win-win? I think it's a win-win I I think it's a win-win because look at that I just love it and it feels really really nice it feels very soft it doesn't feel dry yet. so that is it I trans some hair rings that my friend gave me for my birthday uh, a couple of years ago from Senegal and yeah so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be, please give me a thumbs up let me know 
if you're into chunky twists if you've ever used this product line before and I guess I'll talk to you in the next video if you have any videos that you want me to do or any reviews you want me to do comment down below let me know and also please feel free to share this video thanks for watching bye